I will show you some erosion. So I can show you what happens when I remove some material. Note that the content is defined volumetrically. So as I said, there are about 100,000 stones and it is really the case as you can see. I can uncover the stones with this tool by simply removing the sand. In the game some gameplay items could be hidden here. It could be a mine or some ammunition or whatever. And it's the same with the buildings. As you can see, the bricks are made of a stronger material than the plaster. So the plaster goes down more easily than the bricks. And also the mortar is a bit stronger than the bricks. And, uh, that's the case in the real world. If you look at some old eroded wall, often the bricks are eroded more than the mortar. It is a bit useless here, but um, it will be very useful to define a fine volumetric structure of composite objects, of objects made of a number of materials in future games. It will be especially great in combination with thermodynamics and chemistry. So you can, for example, break through a door without using a weapon. Uh, you will just use some acid to weaken some metallic plates, and maybe fire to damage the filling material inside, and it is done. It could be great in some stealth action game. The player would have to use his knowledge and intelligence to combine diverse items to complete mission goals. Sure, the volumetric definition cost you something, that's true, but it gives you much more than it takes. So, I can only repeat myself, uh, the future is volumetric. It's because you cannot work with the surface only and pretend everything works the way it should. And it must be atom based and that means voxel based just to make it work for little cost. As you can see the lighting is not yet finished. Um, there are two sets of algorithms. The first one is a set of semi-dynamic solutions. Uh, it is for example this M-bind occlusion. It is good to use this sort of sl slow algorithms on an event-driven basis as it is expected that the geometry will be modified quite often but not really on a per frame basis. And the other set, um, these are the fully dynamic solutions like the shadow below the vehicle or the indirect illumination we don't really see here. The current implementation uses only the static cast shadow plus the dynamic one. The static shadow casting has to be rewritten to a semi-dynamic solution. Now I will show you a little faster removal tool. This way we can see the profile of the geometry and the materials and objects inside. It is a much faster tool as it processes a number of voxels at once, so we can remove tons of material quickly. This was the removal of maybe 40 million voxels and the code is not really optimized so it could be much faster. So now after all the years with voxels I must say that it's not really easy to start to work with voxels and to simply forget about polygons. But once you do, 
you will never ever look back. That's how it is. Still, um, it will take a while to happen. Maybe another two years, maybe three. I think that voxels could have started to dominate the market years ago already. Maybe since uh, 2005 or six or seven. But as we can see, it is not the case. And also, there are people who are talking about the conspiracy of the big companies against voxels, ratons in general. Um, I think that there's no true conspiracy, but um, clearly the commercial pressures and uh, widespread disbelief in anything else than polygons make it hard for voxels to become accepted as an alternative to what there is now. And as you can see, some of the respected companies are already presenting some of their results in this field. So things are happening already. It's just that it takes much too long. There is one more thing I wanted to talk about. Yes, um, me alone cannot change the world, nor the industry. And Atom Montage Engine won't become the best engine out there. The thing is that I am the only author of the engine, but also I am the only investor here since the beginning. And I can do no wonders. But I can do my best to inspire, maybe force others to go the Atom based way and also, I will push Atom Montage Engine forward and help others to make games using the engine. With making a donation, you can help me in achieving these goals. It would be great if I accumulate enough budget to pay people for work on our first title. A small game, probably a simple 3D artillery game powered by Atom Montage Engine. If you do donate, I will take your name or message you leave in the donation form and carve it in stone. A virtual stone in the first executable demo of Atom Montage Engine or the game. Uh, please read more on this on the donation page on atommontage.com. Thank you. I would also like to ask you to spread the word about voxels and atoms and Atom Montage Engine if you can. Voxels definitely deserve more attention from game players and game developers. Uh, you know, if players don't know and don't want something new, then nobody will make it. And I think this industry needs a revolution to happen, finally. That's all for now. Um, next time I will try to release an official technology video or a demo. Or we will release a demo of our first game we are just prototyping. Um, I would also like to show you some thermodynamics and chemistry and maybe something more like animated voxelized objects. We will see. Um, all depends on the budget or investment we will be seeking in January and February 2011. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to get in touch with us if you have some good ideas on cooperating with us or maybe seeking budget Thank you for your time and have a nice day.